In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 biggest criminals in the world. People who have been found guilty of committing a crime are referred to as criminals. Crimes encompass any kind of illegal behavior that might result in legal repercussions from a state. As a result of the fact that different states have varied laws addressing crimes and behaviors that are illegal, the term criminal does not have a precise definition. In order to determine which criminals are wanted the most all across the world, Forbes talked with several law enforcement organizations from the United States and other countries. Everyone on the list has been criminally indicted or charged, some by national jurisdictions and some by international tribunals. Some have been indicted or charged in national jurisdictions. They are all accused of committing significant crimes over a lengthy period of time and are regarded as a threat to the rest of the globe. Here are top 10 biggest criminals in the world. So let's start. Number 10. Ayman al-Zawahiri. Even if he does not end up becoming the leader of al-Qaeda, al-Zawahiri is still wanted by the United States government. He was indicted for his role in the bombings of the United States embassies in Tanzania and Kenya in 1998, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds of people. Formerly Osama bin Laden's deputy, Ayman al-Zawahiri held the position of al-Qaeda's number two man for many years. Within al-Qaeda, he is considered to be a polarizing figure, but in the wake of bin Laden's death, he has emerged as the most notorious head of the terrorist organization. Number 9. Dawood Ibrahim. A recent gunshot outside of his brother's house resulted in the death of a bodyguard, which caused the most wanted man in India to be forced to postpone the wedding reception of his son, according to reports. D Company is a criminal organization that Ibrahim has been leading for years. It has 5,000 members. The organized criminal group has been involved in a wide variety of illegal activities, ranging from dealing drugs to carrying out assassinations on contract, with the majority of its operations taking place in Pakistan, India, and the United Arab Emirates. According to the United States government, Ibrahim collaborates with both Al-Qaeda and its South Asian affiliate, Lashkar-e Taiba. Lashkar-e Taiba is responsible for carrying out the attacks that took place in Mumbai in November of 2008 possibly with Ibrahim's assistance. Ibrahim shares smuggling routes with Al-Qaeda. It is believed that Ibrahim was the mastermind behind the explosions in Bombay in 1993, which resulted in 257 deaths and 713 injuries. Even though the government of Pakistan says he is not there, it is likely that Ibrahim is in Pakistan because he has significant contacts to the country's powerful intelligence service. Number 8. Doku Umarov. Osama bin Laden, often known as the Osama bin Laden of Russia, is the leader of the Caucasus Emirate, which is working to create an Islamic emirate in southern Russia. Umarov was a Chechen separatist in the past, but he has since transformed himself into a full-fledged terrorist. He has taken responsibility for a number of terrorist attacks, including the suicide bombings of Moscow subway stations that killed 40 people in the previous year. The government of Russia has accused him of carrying out the attack at Moscow's Doma de Dovo airport in January, which resulted in the deaths of 36 people. In May, the United States government made a reward of $5 million available for information that would lead to his arrest. Number 7. Joseph Kony. As the leader of the Lord's Resistance Army, a guerrilla group that is attempting to establish a theocratic regime, Joseph Kony is responsible for ordering the death of civilians in Uganda and, more recently, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Central African Republic, and Sudan. Kony has directed the kidnapping of 60,000 people, including 30,000 children, and forced them to fight in his campaign of murder, rape, mutilation, and sexual slavery. Under Kony's leadership, the LRA has been responsible for the displacement of 2 million people. It is said that in order for children to join his group, they must first murder their own parents. He is accused of doing this. Since 2008, the LRA is responsible for the deaths of an estimated 2,400 people. Indicting Kony on 33 accusations, including crimes against humanity and war crimes, the International Criminal Court has issued a warrant for his arrest and called for his immediate detention. Number 6. Belisian Kabuga. One of the most sought persons in Africa is allegedly responsible for funding one of the most heinous genocides in recorded history. 
the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda ICTR, has only recently started taking special depositions in the case against him for serious violations under the 1949 Geneva Conventions, Crimes Against Humanity, and Genocide in relation to the massacre of over 800,000 Rwandans in 1994. Due to their concern that the evidence they had against Kaboga would be lost, corrupted, or somehow compromised with the passage of time or the loss of witnesses, the prosecution felt the need to take depositions. Violence against the Tutsi community in Rwanda was incited by the radio station in Kabuga. Furthermore, he provided the car and the armory, which comprised hoes and machetes. Number 5. Alimson Taktakunov. Taktakunov, a prominent Russian gangster known as Taiwanchik because of his Asian characteristics, is originally from Uzbekistan. He is referred to by the United States government as a key figure in worldwide Eurasian organized crime who is engaged in drug trafficking, the selling of illegal weapons, and the trafficking in stolen automobiles. He is suspected of rigging everything in Utah, including Olympic competitions and beauty pageants. He was charged in 2002 by the U.S. government of bribing Olympic figure skating judges. After being detained in Italy, the Americans attempted to extradite him, but Taktakunov was ultimately released by the Italians. Number 4. Matteo Messina Denaro. The historical police onslaught on the most notorious criminal organization in the world is being fought off by the head of the Italian Mafia. Most of the most wanted Mafia fugitives have recently been apprehended by Italian law enforcement, including Giorgio De Masi. De Naro has been able to keep his freedom. When De Naro, also known as Diabolic, first appeared on the Forbes Most Wanted list three years ago, he had just begun to establish himself as a top figure in the Italian Mafia following the arrest of Bernardo Provenzano. There is no question that he is the new ruler now following the arrests of other prominent Mafia figures. De Naro, the plaything of the Italian Mafia, is well known for leading a flashy life, liking Rolex watches, and driving a Porsche. Number 3. Simeon Mogilevic. In 2008, the head of Russian organized crime was briefly detained there after allegations of tax fraud at a cosmetics store. Mogilevic was released in 2009 after his attorneys claimed he was innocent of the tax-related accusations. Although the U.S. had requested his extradition in connection with a $150 million stock fraud, there was little prospect of it happening because the two countries do not have an extradition agreement. The FBI considers Mogilevic to be more than simply a stock fraudster and has connected him to accusations of murder for hire, trafficking in weapons, and potentially even trafficking in nuclear materials. Although Mogilevic has refuted these allegations, the FBI last year established a special danger focus cell to concentrate on him, showing that he is still seen as a serious criminal threat. Number 2. Nasir al -Wahashi. Al Wahashi, formerly Osama bin Laden's secretary, is the head of Al Qaeda in the Arab Peninsula, the organization's powerful affiliate in Yemen. He managed to escape from a maximum security jail in Yemen in 2006, allowing him to live and work in an unstable nation that is ideal for attracting new followers and funding. By claiming responsibility for the underwear bomber Umar Farouk Abdul Mutalab and, according to Abdul Hakim Mohammed, supporting his deadly attack on a Little Rock military recruiting office, Al Qaeda in the Arab Peninsula has made it obvious that it wants to strike the United States. Number 1. Joaquin Guzman. The most sought man in the world. Shorty, also known as El Chapo, has been expanding his violent control over Mexican passageways that are used to carry drugs like cocaine and marijuana into the United States. He might be hiding in the Durango State's mountains in northwest Mexico. Since escaping from a Mexican prison in a laundry cart in 2001 after Mexican judges decided he might be extradited to the United States, Guzman has eluded arrest. He now runs the Sinaloa cartel at the age of 53. In the eyes of the DEA, he is now more potent than he was two or three years ago. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.